it's official. There will be opt-outs. Two of them for Baylor. At least two. Which there could be more. We'll see. Right. In terms of that, it might not be necessary opt-outs, but it might be some other issues. But the for sure two are Apuika, which, to be honest, I knew this was coming. He's close to a first-round pick. So, that's not shocking. What's shocking is Mark Milton. This definitely means other guys on need to step up now more than ever. I mean, on the defense, especially against a run-heavy team. Granted, I know they will throw the ball, too, but I just want to provide that update. And also, Dave Aranda did say, starting in January... They're going to address the transfer portal at quarterback for depth. And y'all might say, look, we need to address it right now, right now, right now. Remember, most of the bowl games are after Christmas. Then there's time for players to enter the transfer portal afterwards. Remember. The last real bowl game is January 2nd. Granted, the college football playoff championships is later. But I'm just want to provide that. A little bit of information on that. He knows it's a net need there. They're going to address it through that way, which that's kind of what I said earlier. So I'm not shocked by any means. Yes, I know I would prefer to get one right now, right now. But you have to get some depth. Out of the way. I mean, you got to have a little more attrition in terms of your players entering a transfer portal before you even add more players. So, definitely is going to be a keep an eye on situation at quarterback now. They need three guys by the fall. You don't scholarship guys. Not just three guys, period. But scholarship. Because you don't want to mess with the two scholarship thing again. And obviously, 2024, you need a quarterback out of high school no matter what. Because the truth is, you don't want to go three years in a row without a quarterback in the high school ranks. And they might do that still for 2023, but it seems like it's not going to be the case. So, that's a little context. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get me up to 500 subscribers now. Let's go. And they might release the press conference later for Dave Aranda. That's where I learned that. And somebody tweeted that out on those two things. So, just an FYI.